physical examination of a patient. Step one, explain the procedure to the patient and the conscious patient. And also, I'm going to do a full head to toe assessment on you today. Step two, assessment of the head. Look at face for obvious lacerations, bruises and deformities. Inspect the area around the eyes and eyelids. Examine the eyes for redness and for contact lenses. So please open your eyes for me. Assess both pupils for size and equality, as well as reaction using a pupil torch. Assess behind the patient's ears for bruising, Use a pen light to look for drainage of spinal fluid or blood from the ears. Look for bruising and lacerations around the head. Palpate for tenderness, depressions of the skull and deformities. Palpate the zygomas for tenderness and instability. Palpate the maxilla for tenderness or instability. Assess the nose for blood and fluid drainage. Palpate the mandible for tenderness or instability. Assess the mouth and nose for cyanosis. Foreign objects such as loose teeth or dentures. Bleeding, lacerations and deformities. Assess for unusual odours on patient's breath. And assess for facial symmetry. Step three, assessment of the neck. Look at the neck for obvious lacerations, bruises, and deformities. Assess for neck vein distension. Gently palpate the front and the back of the neck for tenderness, crepitus, and deformity. Step four, assessment of the chest. Look at the chest for obvious signs of injury. Assess for symmetrical chest wound. Gently palpate over the ribs to elicit tenderness and feel for crepitus. Avoid pressing over obvious bruises and fractures. Listen for breath sounds over the maxillary and mid clavicular lines and at the bases and apices of both lungs. Consider percussion of the apices and bases of both lungs if breath sounds are not equal. Step 5. Assessment of the abdomen and pelvis. Look at the abdomen and pelvis for obvious lacerations, bruises and deformities. Assess the abdomen for distension. Gently palpate the abdomen for tenderness. Gently compress the pelvis from the sides to assess for tenderness. Gently press the iliac crest to elicit instability, tenderness and or crepitus. And lastly, inspect for incontinence. Step 6, assessment of extremities. Inspect all four extremities for lacerations, bruises, swelling and deformities. Assess distal pulses and motor and sensory function in all extremities. So now can you push down on, your, on my hands? Can you pull up with your feet? Can you feel where I'm touching? So can you squeeze my fingers? Can you feel where I'm touching? Assess capillary refill in all four extremities. Check for medical alert anklets or bracelets. Step seven, assessment of the back. Assess the back for tenderness and deformities, ensuring the spinal proportions of a spinal injury is suspected. 
Any pain, sir? Step eight. Assess skin condition and temperature. 